Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me and welcome back to my channel. I have a Disney store order today and it is some animal -y things, some to soft toy things and a journal. Let's get started. Okay, let's see what I have got in here for you. So, I think I've got three items, maybe four, but we will find out. <gasps> and on the top. Oh, on the top. Oh my god, okay. It's the Muppet Show! <laughs> it's Kermit! Oh my goodness. Oh, let's get him out of here. Do you know, I recently met a lovely man by the name of Hugh Spite who is better known as Hugh oh I can't get into this without cutting it Hugh Spirit who is one of the Gamordian guards in Return, to the, who, uh, Return of the Jedi and he was also in Muppet Caper movie he's a puppeteer um so I had this arrived before I met him, but I didn't. Um, I didn't open it in time to have a look at him. Let's have a look. Oh, here he is. Let's put this on the floor. Let's put this on the side. <laughs> I'll keep the scissors handy because I'm sure I'll need them. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my god, he's so good. Look at that green. It's not easy being green, is it? We know it's not easy being green. Oh my god, look at him. He is too cute. Oh my god, he's perfect. Oh, it's the Muppet Show. <laughs> Wait, do I have Muppet ears? No, I don't have Muppet ears, but they probably did them, didn't they, for the 70th? And I had the bag. Um, oh, he's so cute. Oh my goodness, look at him. Oh, he's great. Can I just sit with him on my shoulder? Do you think that will work? Let's try it. Oh, he's so soft. Hi, Kermit. Hello. Do you know, this is the one frog my husband will tolerate. Because he is really, he does not like frogs, but he likes Kermit. How you doing there, buddy? You going to stay? You can make him into a shoulder plush. That would be awesome. I did meet a girl in Disneyland Paris. It's actually one of the cast members. And um, she was working in one of the um, restaurants, the, the Garden Plaza, Plaza Gardens, whatever it is. And um, she had made one of the smaller plush toys into a shoulder plush by just opening it. It feels like he's got like beans. He does, he's a bean bag. Oh, that's why he's sat on my shoulder so well. He's kind of got a beanie bottom. <laughs> oh, there we go. So you, you could, I mean, you know, you could open him up technically there, put a magnet in there and um and then he could be a shoulder plush he'd be quite a big one but he's lovely look he's he looks so authentic he's exactly how i picture kermit the frog from the muppet show like he's he's perfect he's a perfect example he's a perfect version oh i love you hello <laughs> okay let's sit you there for the moment because i feel like you're less likely to fall off than my shoulder the second item i have yes there are three in here is Bambi I met this Bambi not this one obviously but the same style Bambi in um, Disneyland Paris and I did think he was really cute then in fact what I wanted to do actually was get this one the Stife one and then the monochrome Stife one and do a comparison I forgot I was going to do that, I, or I thought about doing it, I forgot I thought. <laughs> I, am, I would really like to do it, but the monochrome one is very expensive, um, and he is absolutely gorgeous, and I would really like him. We shall see. I've managed to hold out so far. It has taken a bit of patience and willpower, which I'm not, not known for. Here we go. Right, I reckon I can probably get Bambi out without having to open the whole bag. Excuse me, Bambi. Oh, there we go. Look 
go, hello. Oh, look at his little legs everywhere. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Do you know what it was about this one? Is it's his expression. Let's see if I can. Okay, just straightening his face up a little bit for him. There we go. That's better. Um, oh, he's lovely. He's so cute, isn't he? So there's a picture of me with him in in the Disney store in uh, Disneyland Paris, basically doing this. I saw the cutest little video on Instagram the other day of a fawn in someone's car and it did make me wonder why the fawn was in the car and you know I, and I do wonder whether people were just setting up these videos or whether they were like rescuing it I don't know but um but isn't he cute look he's got the butterfly on his bottom it's on his tail that that was really what kind of attracted me to this one when I first saw it in Disneyland Paris that and these gangly little legs um, that are just like he's he's just gone skedaddling along the ice, aren't they? And um, just legs akimbo. He's just look at his little face. He's so cute. So he's very soft. His ears are really are really thick. Actually, there's a lot of padding in those. Um, oh, they're lovely to to stroke. Um, what does it say about this one? Does it give like an age? Oh, age zero plus. There you go. So good for Disney kids of any age, including those who are on the older side and supposedly adults. Oh look, isn't he lovely? So you have to let me know what you think of him. He's very cute. <laughs> this is the medium Bambi. So like I say, there's the Stife one, which is lovely, which is about 15 pounds more than this one. And then the monochrome one, which is Sim standing up and is limited edition and is amazing. Um, yes. But if I can satisfy my itch with one that's like a fraction of the price, that would seem a better thing to do. He's very sweet. <laughs> oh, bless you. Let's put that under there. Maybe. There he is. And the last thing I've got in here is a bit more grown up. I looked at these. In fact, I've got a couple of these. I have the Robin Hood one and the Sleeping Beauty one already. And the Robin Hood one is, is there on the shelf next to me. Sleeping Beauty, I have no idea where that one has gone. I have looked everywhere I can think of, and uh, as I think you know, when I did this room sort, I basically moved around loads and loads and loads of stuff in different rooms as well in order to do this. So there were like three rooms that ended up being hit simultaneously. I can't find my Sleeping Beauty one, and yet I know I've got it somewhere. I thought it was on my bookcase. Can't find it. Anyway, you'll know what I'm talking about in a minute. So, so they bought these out a couple of years ago and then I think they were really popular because I saw this one on eBay and um, they were going for like twice the price and um, I didn't buy it, I held out and they brought them back. So there is this one. I think they have brought back the Cinderella one. There was also an Enchanted one originally. There is a Princess and the Frog one. And then, like I say, there is the Sleeping Beauty one that has definitely come back out. Actually, I don't know that I've seen the Robin Hood one out this time. So, um, maybe, maybe they haven't brought all of them back. Ooh. Where's this cream? I thought it was white. Hard to tell in this light. I think I would say that's cream. So, this is the Snow White replica journal. And what is really nice about these, because I, I, you know, I'm the right age, I, I swear I'm not as old as Snow White, but <laughs> I'm the right age to remember the opening of these books. Let's go down there. Isn't that lovely? The opening of these books right at the start of the movie and how magical that was. And they, they were such big, heavy books. And in fact, when I went to the Disney 100th exhibition in December, I saw, was it the Sleeping Beauty one? I think it must have been. I actually saw it in real life. I'd forgotten I'd seen that. If I can find a photo of it, I will insert it here. Um, here we go. Okay, so I don't I don't want to bend it back too much because I don't want to damage it. I'm someone who reads their books like this. My books look pristine for years because <laughs> I refuse to open the spine. So you've got the opening page and it says several of the opening and closing scenes featured in Walt Disney's animated masterpieces or oh, Bambi include brief sequences showing the opening and closing of a grand storybook and are some of the most iconic moments in Disney film history they don't have a Bambi to contend with here you go baby <laughs> 
Recreate that special cinematic moment with help from the Walt Disney Archives in this journal, featuring, featuring illustrations from the classic 1937 animated feature Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This storybook replica will help you preserve the magic with your fairest friend of all. Lined pages inside even allow you to imagine your own fairy tale. Take home a piece of the magic with this one of a kind item. So I don't think they've changed that wording from when these originally came out because I did watch quite a few videos on these myself um, to see and the detail. I mean, you've got, look, you've got all the dwarfs along the bottom here, which is lovely. I love the carving of like the wood effect there. Beautiful. And then you've got the, um, the crown and the gold tassel is also a really nice touch. And you've got little rabbits. It's like a little rabbit there and a little rabbit there. Are there owls? Oh, it's a squirrel. There's a squirrel at, oh, squirrel's at the top there and there. And then there's a little owl there, but just on that side. And some little birds going up the side as well. It's lovely. <laughs> I'd be interested to see this in the sun. Because it is cream. I was expecting it to be pure white. Like snow white, some might say. Okay, let's see what it says. Here we go, I'll try and show you this. Okay. Isn't that nice? Beautiful. So that says, once upon a time there was a love there lived a lovely little princess named Snow White. Her vain and wicked stepmother, the Queen, feared that someday Snow White's beauty would surpass her own. So she dressed the little princess in rags and forced her to work as a scullery maid. And then it's got Paige talking about her consulting her magic mirror. I've got the song in my head. I don't know that I know any of the words. Or, oh, it's, it's the prince's song. Is his name Prince Florian? Did I read? That one. It's in my head. In my head, it's Snow White. On the page, on the page, on the page corner. What's at the back? It's quite a <laughs> quite a stretch, isn't it? From Prince Florian in uh, Snow White, or whatever his name is, to uh, Zombie. <laughs> That's how my brain works. I'm very musical in my head. There we go. And we've got, and they lived happily ever after at the back. I think that's it. I don't think there's a picture of them like getting married or anything. Snow White and Robin Hood, isn't it? Don't do that. No, that is it. So I think as far as these these insides go, this one perhaps doesn't have as much detail as the other couple that I've got, but um, the outside is really detailed. And then um, this bit's really shiny. Oh, I see why it's so shiny. That bit's shinier because it's the inside kind of gold there that's wrapped around the page you see whereas this is plastic see? so there you go so that is the journal so I'm glad I've seen it in person um I do like the turquoise on there that's very pretty and it's very striking with the white and gold that's a nice color tone so let me know what you think do you have any of these journals yourself are you a Bambi fan do you have either of the Slife Bambis please let me know what you think if you do and or do you have my favourite green character? <laughs> Is he my favourite green character? He might be. I did draw Mike Wazowski the other day and I thoroughly enjoyed doing that. So there you go. Thank you for joining me on a bit of a random tour of Shop Disney items. That is, no, they are Disney Store now, aren't they? They're back to Disney Store. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. Thanks so much for joining me uh, once again. And until next time, take care and bye for now.